What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Avahi channel. I'm Chris from Avahi Design, and today I'm going to be showing you the difference between categories, tags, and attributes in WooCommerce. So let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log into our WooCommerce site, uh, go into the back end, and then I went straight to one of my products. So we're looking at the Nike SB black on black uh, product that I created on this test site. And the first thing we're going to look at is categories. So categories are going to be the main way that you group all of your products. Um, you can create multiple categories and you can create a category structure. So you can have a main category and a subcategory. So right now you will see that I have a shoes category, which would have all of the shoes. And then I've also got a category called Nike. Um, whenever you are looking on the homepage, you can actually have it show up as a category or you can have it show up as the product. So if you want it on your shop page before they could even look at the products, they could pick a category first. Um, that's how a lot of places would do their shop page. If you have a ton of products, you don't want to show all the products. You're going to want to show them the category so that they're not overwhelmed by how many products are on your site. You can add as many categories as you want. These are going to be the main way that people find their products, like I said. Um, so I've also got a wholesale category that I keep all of the wholesale products in, and that shows up on a different page on a different section of the site. To add a category, you would just hit add new category, and then you can either, you would just type in the name of your category. And then if you want to make it a subcategory, then you can choose the other category. You know, you can choose the parent category right here. So that's the basis of categories. Uh, this also is the same for posts. So if you're doing a blog post, you would create categories in this way also. The next thing is going to be tags. So tags are a little bit different from categories. There's no subcategories or there's no sub tags. It's all the same. Each tag has the same weight to it. So you can add as many tags as you want. You know, for this, you might put black, Nike, uh, shoe, uh, skate, extreme, X games. You know, you might put a bunch of tags on it. And these tags are going to help a ton with SEO and search engine optimization. Depending on how you have your search set up, you can also set it up so that your search bar on your website can search through the tags and find those tags. Uh, the regular search that comes with WooCommerce does not look up tags. So if we add a tag right here, say call it skate, and we add that skate tag, and then we, you know, we're going to update the product. And then if we go over here and look at skate, it is not going to pop up. So you do have to think about that with tags, but you do want to add tags because like I said, that's going to help your search engine optimization. Another use for tags is widgets. So you can actually set up a, like a product tag cloud if you had a sidebar and you could have, you know, your most used tags over there and people could select on a tag. Also, if you do go to the, if you go to one of your products and it has a tag, you, you'll see it on your product and then you can click that tag and search it that way. So if you had multiple shoes here that had the skate tag, those would all show up. And then the last thing is going to be attributes. So the attributes is actually over here on the product data. And you would use these attributes a lot of times for variations, but you can create attributes if you wanted. And instead of putting visible on the product page, you could just add your attributes. Um, and that helps with searching that helps with SEO. And, you know, I probably wouldn't mess with these unless you're making them visible on the product page. Uh, I would instead just use like tags, but you know, say you have custom shirts and every shirt has the same color. You'd want to have those attributes on there so that people can search that way. And then the same, the same thing for those attributes, you can actually filter your products by attribute. So you can have a list of attributes and people can choose, you know, we want only black shirts in this category. 
So yeah, that's a quick rundown of categories and tags and attributes. Um, you can use these for a bunch of different things. For example, you might create a tag called handmade, and then you can have on your nav bar a link called handmade that takes you to that tag. So you can actually share, if you look up here on the main bar, like product tag skate. So you can share products that way also. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.